Why be easy when you can just die? Didn't find Frogman, thank god. Wow, I'm Chewy Mew, and welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to another Chewy Mew video, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Retro Wave, or Retro Series, um, uh, Hammerhead, or Marvel's Hammerhead, even to be even more specific. So yes, I managed to get this guy at Walmart. But, um, I got lucky and they managed to have Hammerhead. So I've said many times where I don't collect, um, non-Marvel Legends, or non, uh, Toy Biz. Because mainly my collection, like, about 90% of my collection is Toy Biz. Um, I, I do have a couple Hasbro ones here and there, but those are ones that I, that there's basically no Toy Biz alternative, like Hammerhead. Or, the Toy Biz one just kind of is bad. Uh, for example, Spider-Man 3, there's no Toy Biz versions. The Life Foundation Symbiotes, there's... No uh, six-inch scale toy biz, you know, stuff like that. So I do collect Hasbro, um, where I do collect Hasbro sometimes because there's no toy biz version. And I think this figure does look pretty cool. Um, I like that it has sort of like, it's it's obviously inspired from the 90s cartoon and, all, and the toy biz packaging from the 90s. But also, um, I like how the Spider-Man up here, even though it's, it's it doesn't look exactly like, the, it's not the same art style as from the 90s cartoon. And even the font is slightly different. Like, it doesn't have the... the the heavy black outlines around the red and the yellow. It is a more uh, sort of you can see a more thin outline around the around the yellow. I think that's pretty cool. Just got a picture of Hammerhead here. And for the first time when I saw the top of the package here, I didn't think this was English, but it says a Magia Slugger, a Magia Slugger, a Magia Slugger, something like that. I thought that was in uh, not. I thought that was some other language, but then I noticed, hey, Slugger, Slugger is English. So um, I got really lucky finding him at Walmart. It was like I think twenty. One twenty-two dollars, and also you guys know I don't. I'm not the most professional reviewer, so. Oh well. Uh, okay, so here's his baseball bat. Here's a baseball bat. That's pretty cool. It's kind of kind of a long, long kind of shape here. Um, it's kind of cool. I like that. I just wish they would make it um the packaging just a little tighter so that it holds the hands in better. Let's take this guy out here. Yeah, there we go. That probably really destroyed your guys' ears, and I'm sorry, but we have ruined the back of the box, but we still have the read-up here, which I actually didn't read it. Hammerhead, so Hammerhead skull is reinforced with adamantium, making his, head of, making his head flat on top. At the same time, this criminal's frequent run-ins with Spider-Man have caused him no shortage of headaches. As far as the figure itself, it does look kind of cool. I did think... Uh, seeing reviews and stuff, uh, most people don't go in, like, super in-depth, like, oh, you can see, like, the little, little grooves here and there. Um, but I was thinking that the, this was actually, you know, sculpted. Like, the, the material, this does feel like a separate piece of plastic compared to, compared to the, um, his torso here. I think it is. I think this is, yeah, it's all separate. You can see it actually kind of separates. You're not probably, you're not supposed to take it off, though. Um, you probably could, like, if you, if you remove his arms, like, if you chop the body open. Um, but, but yeah, so, uh, it is a separate piece, and this does, oh, it does have a rotation here, but I thought, oh, I thought this, and, like, the legs of the actually had this, uh, texture, material, kind of, uh, you know, I didn't think this was painted, I thought it was actually sculpted, so that, that's, like, a bit of an issue for me, at least. Some people, you know, that's perfectly fine, but this head sculpt, that looks really good, it looks really, um, like, real, I don't want to say realistic, but it does look like it could be, it was, like, based off of a human, maybe. It's, like, a very, kind of, like, uh, like, angry-looking face. I think that looks really cool. The, the, kind of the thin eyebrows there, the tiny eyes. You can't really see the eyes too good. Ears, a bunch of wrinkles on his forehead and his mouth, wrinkles on the lips. Um, the eyes look painted really good. Like, it doesn't look derpy or anything. It looks pretty good. The, even, like, you can see there below his lip, it actually has, like, a slightly darker color on kind of the, like, the fold of the lip there. The hair is really nicely done, too. That's really nicely done. On the top there, on the back. Um, it, it, that looks, if you see, if you were to see this kind of, like, blurry a little bit, it would look like actual hair, and it kind of shimmers in the light. I will say, even though I'm not a big fan of the Hasbro, like, their, the body style, I will say, on the head sculpts, the head sculpts are always really good on, on most of them. I think the head sculpts are pretty good, which I think I would have figured out eventually, but his knuckles here actually say head on them backwards. It, the letters are actually kind of inverted, like H-E-A-D. So I guess it's supposed to be like if he punches someone in the head. Maybe I can actually, you know, p imprint that on my hand, maybe, if I push it. Maybe I can. Yeah, no, nah, not really. Is, um, the kind of ball-jointed head he has. He doesn't have, like, you know, the, the disc hinge like the other, like the other Hasbro figures do. 
and like, you know, the Toy Biz ones too, where they have like this hinge and a ball joint. Oops, his little web fell off here. He doesn't have that. He has the other, other hinge joint, or the other like just two ball joints here, which I, I don't like this as much. I prefer the disc hinge, but I guess maybe this way is cheaper, but it still does get a pretty good range of motion. It's actually still really good there. Um, I will say when it comes to ball jointed necks, I think Hasbro maybe beats Toy Biz there. A little bit of paint there on the on the side of the head there. It does look pretty cool the way it works. And also, also there's like little buttons here on the back of the thing. It's really nice there on both arms. Little buttons here on his vest as well, or on his uh, his coat kind of looking thing there. His buttons, a little wrinkle on the tie there. Some uh, nice detail here as well on the, like the buttons here on his uh, things. Also, oh, he doesn't have pegless arms. I thought he had the, or pinless joints. He doesn't there on the, oh, he does on the legs though. That's pretty cool. Um, that, that's really cool that I like that Hasbro is they're trying to go for making them look as kind of realistic as as less I guess toyetic as they can which uh, pinless joints that's pretty cool there um, on the bottom of the foot this one just says China and the other one does say Hasbro SA Marvel 2021 oh yeah 2021 oh yeah it came out sometime last year really uh, I guess so uh, from the sides you don't see pins at all and that's pretty cool you can kind of still see where the pins are you can see like a little indent there I mean, that's just the wrinkle of the pants. The wrinkles on the pants and the coat and everything, they look really cool. Um, I like that this is a, oops, I like that this is a rubbery kind of material where you can still, I mean, not really. I was going to say you can still kind of bend the torso, which you can't really. I think it does still have a hinge there. You know, they, they could have given, I mean, I feel like this guy, he's not going to be posing around acrobatic like Spider-Man, so not having that uh, hinge there, I think that's kind of fine. But either way, let's swap hands here. Um pop them off here so put that there you know I think I'm probably gonna do he doesn't have like can you hold the bat in this hand oh I think it maybe you can have him being like this like you know like doing that but I think I'm probably just gonna have him with uh the knuckle the, like the knuckle the brass knuckles whatever it's called on that one hand kind of like that they never go in completely in kind of like these do and the code doesn't block the articulation too so yeah I think I'm just gonna probably just leave this hand on by default and then uh, this hand can hold the baseball bat let me get that in here. Oops. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. This is always an issue. It's an issue with Toy Biz. I think it's just an issue with maybe me. That they never hold the weapon completely like this. It always is at an angle. You know, like if you're holding something, they always kind of hold it a little bit like... Like they grip it here and then they kind of like loose like this. If they're not holding it like this. They're kind of holding it like, like that. I mean, that, that's just maybe a me thing, but that looks pretty cool. Get some good swing and action in here. That, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I kind of like this. Uh, the baseball bat. I wish it maybe had some like some maybe some paint chipping or like you know like uh, like it's aluminum and there's the paint coming off or like if it had wood texture. I, but I think it looks pretty cool there. Probably gonna have them like. Uh, oh, I think I think that's maybe what the hands are here. I feel like they give you hands. Like Hasbro, they give you hands. It's sort of like hey, these are some posability options you have. Like you can be um, just like uh. Oops, oops. It'd be like a big oaf here. You could have him doing something like a pose that he's doing like this, like, you know, like, I'm gonna get you, Spider-Man. Ooh, and also a cool thing that I'm probably gonna have him doing. Oh, yeah, like that, like that. That's pretty good right there. I do wish they would have given him, like, a, like a gun. You know, like, very, uh, very uh, stereotypical mafia kind of stuff, like, even, like, a Tommy gun kind of thing. Um, you know what they actually did have at, um, at a, what's it called? At Walmart, they actually were selling some Star Wars figures, some, I think Star Wars Black, I think that's what they're called. They had some robot thing and it came with like a Tommy gun. You know, if, if, I, if I were rich, I would have bought that too, just to give Hammerhead the gun. Which I'm not rich, so, you know. But, but but if I had nothing better to do with money, I would just go ahead and buy that. Also, just looking at it here, I did notice this side of, these side of the knuckles. Focus. I'm pressing it with my nose. These side of the knuckles are, uh, the, the, the brass knuckles are painted. The inside, they're actually not. They're actually flesh colored. And here, this is the Toy Biz Kingpin, you know, because I, I click Toy Biz. Probably gonna have these two guys like this. Maybe I'm thinking something kind of like, um, something kind of like this, maybe. Just kind of like at an angle. Just hold the bat and then have Kingpin here. I, I unfortunately did lose Kingpin's cane. I feel like these two go together pretty well. Um, uh, I, th I think they do look really good here, though, together. It does have a hole there on the back for, you know, the, the display stand he came with. But I think this is, uh, I think this is pretty cool. But yeah, so, oops, dropped the bat there. 
I, th I think that's really cool. Yeah, um, I, I, I probably won't buy more Hasbro figures from the Wave, also because I can't find them, but also because I, I have Toy Biz versions, or I just don't really care too much. Go over that. His head has a very good ball joint going side to side, up and down. Looks all the way down. Goes up pretty high. I, the ball joint, I will say Hasbro did outdo, always kind of was better at, than Toy Biz did at ball joints. Look at all that crazy movement there. That's really, really nice. The arms go up only about this high. They rotate all the way around. Rotate, rotation here in like the bicep. Double bend in the elbow. Rotation in the wrist. A hinge in the wrist. Nothing in the fingers, unfortunately. So I guess he kind of does have like an ab crunch kind of joint. He might not, but it feels like it could move. I feel like you might have to, you could kind of, probably would have to, you might damage this if you try moving it. Rotation in the waist. The legs kick up about that high. He can do, he can do really close for the splits. Ha Toy Biz is really kind of getting, or Hasbro is really getting good at that. Rotation here in the upper thigh. A really, really stiff bend in the knee here. Feels like, feels like I'm gonna kind of break it here. That's one thing, what, when you bend, when you bend the knee, look how dramatic of a bend that is compared to, you know, like Kingpin where his knee bend, it's significantly less, it, it's kind of, it's like a little bit smaller, honestly, even though his leg is a lot bigger. Um, maybe it's just that knee. Yeah, the bottom joint is really tight there. On this one, this one too, it's really tight there. Um, yeah. It's like my, that's like my only issue with the figure so far. He does have an ankle pivot, which his pants do kind of block a little bit. It, it bends, bends pretty far back, bends forward. You could hear like plastic kind of flying. I think I broke off some of like, oops, a really tight joint there. I think I broke some of the, like the QC issues, like this little, little plastic piece kind of sticking out right here. Kind of get that off there. And uh, I'm probably going to have him and Kingpin together like this. I don't have any other Kingpin goons. Like, I could also put Tombstone here, but I don't have Tombstone. Um, I, I have a custom one that I bought in a mystery box that's missing the head. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all about for, that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to let me know. Let me know what you think about this figure here. And I will see you guys in the next review. Wow.